Oh, every time I thought I was done. Trashy movies like this just pull me back in. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Queen of the Damned, the next movie and the final movie in the Vampire Chronicles series. I hope you guys enjoyed my interview with the Vampire Review because I'm about to goddamn wreck this movie. Wow! Is this movie bad? And for so many other reasons than just being a bad movie. This film follows Lestat. Lestat wakes up in the present day being the grungy, grungy early 2000s and decides to start a band and openly say that he's a vampire. And there's almost like no repercussion for this, except for the vampires getting all angry about it. Supposedly he's doing all this music to try and reawaken the Queen of the Damned, but in the end he meets up with his old homie who turned into a vampire and then he's like, hey, you know, that Queen of the Damned, she's not a good guy. Like, oh, it can't be that bad. And she wakes up and then she starts killing everyone left and right. And before 20 minutes of her screen time's up, eh, the movie's over. There's a lot of issues with Queen of the Damned. The first off, there must be so much goddamn footage on the cutting room floor. The fact that this is less time than the first film, and there's essentially more happening in this movie than the first one, and the fact that it's shorter, must mean that they chopped it down. And then everything else. The acting is abysmal from everyone. The visual effects, once you see them, they're terrible, but apparently they thought that that whole tracing thing with them moving fast was a great idea and they stick with it and oh boy, does it get even worse. The lighting in this movie is the laziest work I've ever seen. When they go back in time to when Lestat is in his tower back in the 17th century or something and he's got all these candles around him, it should be dark because it's night, yet his room is lit up better than this goddamn room is and I've got three lights and a window. And the story is so incredibly broken, not just in terms of a movie, but also in comparison to the first film. Hey, remember that bit in the first film where they all had long luscious hair and they couldn't cut it? Well, you'll see a bunch of bald vampires in this movie. There's no explanation for it though. Hey, what happened to Louis? Cause he kind of just left in the first movie without any sort of explanation. Not even going to be addressed. Wasn't Lestat awake in the 90s yet he wakes up saying that he's been asleep for a hundred years? Don't worry, that's not gonna be explained at all. They essentially retcon the first film while ruining their own movie at the same time. I'm very, very impressed at how bad this movie is. And the whole point being the queen, who isn't introduced until the last 20 minutes, and then is killed off 15 minutes into her runtime before she can do anything is just so absurd. There's this whole bit about, oh, if you drink the last drop, you turn into a stone thing. Where was this established? Admittedly, there were bits like this in the first film where Tom Cruise said, hey, can't you read their minds? And he's like, no, oh, well, some of us are different. And that's all I'm going to address upon that. Bye. The same kind of stuff happens in this movie, but it is so much, much bleh, bleh. There is so many more instances of absolutely zero explanation happening in this movie. This super secret society that has apparently been following the vampires for all this time. Why haven't they done anything about it? <laughs> hey, this girl who wants to find out who Lestat is. They have a connection for some reason. Is she going to get a character at all? No. What about any form of vampire hunters? Are you seriously telling me that with these guys as flippantly murdering people as much as they have been, that there isn't a fucking blade walking around waiting to ice motherfuckers the music choice just screams nexopia to me this is well before they made the whole sexy vampire things it's a very poor attempt at what would eventually become a big fad about seven years later it's unfortunate that this didn't catch on to the crap vampire train because if it waited a little bit longer it might have done more successfully this film absolutely stop the Vampire Chronicles series were dead in its tracks. There's never been any form of revival or anything for it. The worst part about this movie is the actress who plays the Queen died in a plane crash. I think just before the film came out, if not the DVD release. But in the end, I'm gonna give Queen of the Damned a 1 out of 7. It's terrible, but it's very, very fun to laugh at. I will give it that. That is the one point it gets. If you want to have a nice fun time with your buds drinking shots or do whatever, there's got to be a drinking game for this movie. 
because it's terrible. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.